And also the way that Kendall decided to cut that cucumber was very much so questionable. you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl JD here back with another video so today we are going to be talking about a show that I said many times before I was never going to watch but I decided to check out the Kardashians over on Hulu and I have a few thoughts okay I have some things that I want to share and I want to see if you guys that have watched it unfortunately if you had a similar reaction okay so let's just dive into it I have not gotten past season one as yet I just want to let you guys know up front I am still on season one but honestly I feel like if you've seen the first season more than likely you've probably watched all three so I am a reality TV show junkie okay I would honestly watch just about anything if I think it has an interesting storyline plot or if the people that are in it are interesting to me in some way I will watch just about anything but with the Kardashians specifically they were the only show when they had keeping up with the Kardashians over on E that was the only show I would watch besides Fashion Police when Joan Rivers was still alive I just honestly remember being addicted to that show. My favorite in the show was definitely Chloe and Courtney. I didn't really care for anybody else. I didn't dislike them, but I just didn't really find them funny or entertaining, really. I'm just going to be honest. But when it comes to the show The Kardashians, it doesn't give me that same feeling of fun. It seems more contrived. It seems very robotic. And I don't get that same sense of relatability. Don't get me wrong, in the Keeping Up With The Kardashians show, they still had money. You could clearly tell that they were filthy stinking rich and they weren't really relatable in terms of that sense. But when it came to how they interacted with each other, how each sibling interacted with the other, it felt kind of like a regular everyday family. Outside of the fact that they had red carpet appearances and shows to go on, interviews and TV shows to do. But outside of that, you felt connected to them in some way. Like they they had a similar sense of humor to you. Friends with you guys. My diamond earring came up in the ocean. My diamond earring's gone. And there's people that are dying. You just kind of felt like it was a fun show. But that's just how I feel personally, okay? Obviously, you could see them as really fake from the beginning. And that's just how you feel. But I honestly was addicted to keeping up with the Kardashians up until I think maybe Courtney left. And then it just kind of went downhill from there. Like when Courtney and Kim had that little fight, you know, like it was just really actually kind of funny. But when they had that fight, I was just kind of like, eh, I don't feel like really watching this anymore. But I did watch it until the end, you know, until they decided to actually end the show. But with the Kardashians, it really, really feels scripted. And obviously when it comes to reality TV, yes, we know there is a little bit of, you know, script writing here and there, but I really personally feel that when it comes to this show in particular, that it's very rigid, very cold. It just really does not seem like a go with the flow type of show anymore. You know what I mean? It just seems very like, okay, we got to film this. We got to do this scene with each other. So come to our house. Let's do this. Let's have lunch to talk about this. It just feels really boring. Okay, let me just say that. Honestly, the last couple of seasons of Keeping Up With The Kardashians was really boring. That's what I was basically saying. That's why I didn't really want to watch it, but I watched it anyway. I forced myself. But with this show, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get past season one because it is really, really boring. In short, I can pretty much tell you what is probably going to happen in the next couple of episodes. But this entire first season, all we had to talk about was Kim's sex tape, Kanye basically coming back and being the, the hero, so to speak, up until Kim decides to do her SNL show and basically says that she's divorced, but Kanye was like, I didn't sign the papers. So now it's an issue with them going back and forth. And there's another problem with regards to Courtney and Scott. So it looks as though Scott is feeling left out because Courtney doesn't really feel comfortable inviting him around her and Travis. So everyone's just basically trying to tell her like, hey, you need to talk to Scott and set some boundaries because we're just in limbo right now trying to figure out what is okay and what's not okay and also what makes you comfortable and not comfortable. So that's pretty much the entire season. 
basically. And then in this last episode that I just watched, you know, obviously Kim exposes the fact that she's now into Pete Davidson. But as you guys already know, they broke up. So it's just kind of like, a, mm, I feel like everything's just really contrived. It just seems really just kind of, again, rigid, robotic, and just very unrelatable as hell. You know what I mean? It's like, obviously it's not gonna be entirely relatable because they're celebrities. You know, there is gonna be some disconnect in some areas, but I feel like it's just more of like a personality thing now where it just seems really cut off. And why are we making this into a show again? I don't understand. Obviously you could tell they bumped up their production quality. Everything seems a lot more like TV show-esque, but I think they took the life out of it. It just doesn't give me that same feeling like when I watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And I honestly don't know where they're gonna go with this or how many more seasons there's gonna be because you could definitely tell that their viewership has gone down by a lot, like by millions, okay? And I think honestly at this point they might just need to give it up and just move on with their lives. Obviously they have several businesses that they keep talking about in this show and it gets really annoying because just like, okay, we get it. You own Skims. Okay, we get it. You have good American. All right, poosh. Yes. Every other conversation, they have to talk about something to do with a business and like free promotion. But it's just like, after a while, it's really just annoying. But I just feel really disconnected from this show. And also the way that Kendall decided to cut that cucumber was very much so questionable. I'm making it myself. Just gotta chop up some cucumber. It's pretty okay. easy. Be careful, because I cut, I nicked myself the other day. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. There you go. I definitely am not a good cutter, so don't zoom in on me. <laughs> I'm not professional whatsoever. Hey, chef. Do you want to cut this up for her? I'll do it, mom. Be fine. It's like I'm still honestly trying to figure out why she did that like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's little things like that that I'm just like, oh my God. Y'all don't have no connection with the outside world. <laughs> it's just really weird. But I just honestly feel like they should just cancel this show. It seems really unnecessary. It's not bad, but it's not good. You know, it's just kind of there. But y'all let me know your thoughts on this one. I just honestly feel like they don't need it at this point because their lives are so public and you obviously see so much of it you know, even if you don't watch a show, you already know what's going to happen. You know so much about their life. It's unnecessary to have a show. That's just how I feel. But y'all let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. If you guys have seen the show or not, whatever. <laughs> let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.